Mobex. What a wonderful state management library. It's a lot like Redux in that it lets you decouple your business logic from your UI rendering logic, but it does so with a little twist. And that little twist makes all the difference, which makes Mobex a really, really cool option that a lot of people love a lot more than they love Redux. You see, where Redux relies on immutability and making new copies of your data for every change that you want to make, Mobex is all about mutating your data and observing those changes in a very, very fine-grained manner. So as a result, where you would spend a lot of time writing boilerplate with Redux code where you have to write your actions and your reducers and all that sort of stuff, with Mobex, you don't have to do any of that because Mobex handles all of that internally. The only thing you have to do is something like, I have this state and I want this component to observe this state. And that's about it. You then call actions. If you want to call actions, you don't have to call actions. Change your state. You change it the same way you would change any variable. You say A equals 1 and then you say A equals 2. And every time Mobox is going to be like, oh hey, this variable changed. Let's look at all the, the whole list of observers, everyone who is observing this variable. And those observers only happen if they are actually using the variable. Aha, this one is using my A variable, so I'm going to re-render it. And that React component re-renders. It basically means you don't have to do a lot of work. And this whole not having to do a lot of work when you're using Mobex is why I think it's a real shame that it's not even more popular than it actually is. And if there's any reason why it's not more popular is just because timing of when it came on the scene and potentially if you're not careful and if you're it kind of suffers from similar problems as Saga suffer. Reactivity is really cool but you can run into issues. Tomorrow we're going to look into how you might use Mobex and how it actually works day to day and we're going to talk about some of the cons of that approach as well.